We are actually going to start with a piece of news about the future of the in internet. And seriously, a significant piece of news. These are the co-founders of Twitter, and they have something to announce today. Biz, you want to start? Sure. We, uh, Evan and I, and our longtime collaborator, Jason Goldman. Jason, are you here? The bald man in the front. You're allowed um, to tweet this, okay. but not trade on this information because the markets are closed. It's okay. He, know, he knows he's bald. Anyway, <laughs> uh, the three of us have been longtime collaborators and really good friends, and our dream was always to uh, build our own company where we get to make whatever we want, whatever we think is going to, to be helpful uh, to the world and make the world a better place. And so we uh, put up a website today and we're calling our company The Obvious Corporation. And, um, and we don't have anything specific to say about what, exactly what we're going to be working on just yet. We're not ready to reveal that. But we're excited to announce that we have started a new company. And by the way, I know there's sort of half skepticism here. But this actually is the launch of a new company, The right. Obvious Company, right. yeah. with you as CEO. Right. Um, and it's actually a relaunch yeah. of sorts. Obvious was a company that incubated Twitter before spinning it off into its own company. And yeah. then we um, decided to focus on that for, for a few years. But, Five. but, but the, the original idea uh, with Obvious was that we were going to create you know, multiple things and, and um, see where they went. And we didn't, we didn't end up doing that many things. But um, so this is a relaunch of that company. And we're very excited. And our, our, our mission is really, that we don't have specifics about what we're going to build. What we're really excited about is building systems that help people work together to improve the world in, in various ways. And we think that's really so much of what the, the internet promises and what I think getting into our topic today, what the future of the internet uh, will entail, at least the bright side, is, is people working together and to become you know, greater than, than they could individually or greater than even organizations and institutions uh, can, can be. So uh, to try to uh, describe this without going further than you're ready to go, you're talking about launching a few products of Twitter-like quality that would help people collaborate. Um, yeah, and collaborate could mean various things, and and Twitter like quality could mean various things. <laughs> um, That's true. And we our goal is to have impact, so it's not you know maybe we'll launch a few things if if we get as lucky as we did with Twitter, you know that would be great. But really, the goal, what we think is possible, and I think one of the, there's a whole wave of new companies and services starting today that are about helping people work together to do things. I mean, I think this touches on what Twitter actually does this, and, and, and most communication technologies do this. And they, they enable people to, who wouldn't necessarily act on their own to find like-minded people. And it's one thing to just find like-minded people and talk about stuff. It's another thing to find like-minded people and then do stuff. Mm -hmm. And I think that's, that's what we've seen in the Middle East. That's what we've seen much smaller examples throughout the history of Twitter from stories we heard early on about people saying, hey, let's, you know, it's Christmas time and there's a bunch of hom homeless people on the street. Let's go give them blankets and food. Who's with me? We heard stories like this and we were convinced that that wouldn't have happened if people didn't have this very low friction communication channel. They made the, these thoughts get blocked in people's minds and they don't, they don't get out there unless you give them mechanisms to connect to other like-minded people. So. That that's, scratches the surface of what's possible in much bigger arenas, I think. Yeah, I was going to say, I was just going to use that phrase. We're, it seems like we're just beginning to scratch the surface on the internet and on specific applications like Kickstarter and um, to an extent Donors Choose and things like this that are allowing people to virtually collaborate to have a real world change, affect real world positive change. And to, to, in many ways, Twitter has done that. Um, it's not entirely what it's about, but it has done that in certain cases. Mm -hmm. But there's, there's a proliferation of, of, uh, of, of startups and of apps that are, that are doing that now. And I think um, as we get into our discussion about the future of the internet, hopefully this is you know, sort of the lead topic. 